The other challenge with grassroots is burnout. Um, again, you've got to be a group of people who are passionate, excited, and you, you want to make sure that they're always working. You never want to you know, give them too much. And you can sometimes avoid burnout through technology. So again, if you're hitting them with messages on a repeated basis, and you start to stop opening them, well then maybe for those people who have stopped opening them, you may only deliver them a message once a month. And you make it come from someone else at the organization. So rather than getting the weekly email from the e-campaign team or the product marketing team, you may even get one email a month from the VP or from the director. And they may make you more likely to open that. You know, sometimes people do grassroots in a different way. I mean, when, when I talk about grassroots, what I'm talking about so far is finding people who care about what you do and then leveraging them to speak to others. Some people do think about grassroots very differently or think about word of mouth differently. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll find a company that has a paid panel of people who are buzz marketers. And these people will go out there and talk you up. Uh, but they're being incentivized financially to do so. And again, uh, you know, I, there are different opinions on how, success, how effective that is and how ethical that is. But the, I think the, the, the key there is if you're using a paid panel, there needs to be some element of disclosure. Because if there is a disclosure, it's really going to bite you at the end. And then the last thing that we'll be worried about is something called what's called the political terms, AstroTurf. And AstroTurf is what the term used in policy for fake graphics campaigns. Now, um, and, and uh, you know, the first big AstroTurf campaign used to happen, in, I guess, in the 70s and 80s, when uh, the way people did grassroots was they would send uh, postcards to Congress. And so, you know, and originally you only got a few hundred people would actually read these things. But then you, you start getting deluged by 10,000 postcards with the exact same words on them. And then it would turn out they were all being driven by some big company that paid for the whole thing. And so, you know, if, if, the, if the grassroots effort is viewed as inauthentic and artificial, it has no impact. So the challenge of grassroots is making sure that the, 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 uh, the action that the grassroots base has taken appears to be genuine and real, in fact, is genuine and real, with their own words, uh, with some variations that makes it, makes it very clear that these are real people who care. Um, 